Hey, this is Pete Bernard from Excelsior. I'm here with my dog, Dreidel. He's a little bit anxious. I want to talk a little bit more about Microsoft Ignite, which was really kicking off today. Uh, yesterday, I talked about the Azure IoT operations announcement, which essentially enables you to connect like a donut machine to the internet. Uh, but it's actually a lot cooler than that because you can use cloud-native Kubernetes-style management with Azure Arc to connect uh, edge devices and run edge AI workloads on them. Uh, but really, the big news for Ignite is about AI and all of the Copilot stuff that's coming out. Copilot for this, Copilot for that, Copilot for Copilots, and I think we'll see a slew of that stuff. And it's been amazing to see how Microsoft's integrated AI into their products really quickly. So more than just experimental stuff, uh, it's really coming to uh, a screen near you in terms of your office work and uh, commercial um, code and development and deployment and all kinds of things and GitHub. Um, and also the integration into Studio to develop, you know, Copilot Studio and things like that. So I think we're going to see a lot of really interesting generative AI things and maybe some things not so good because generative AI really needs good data to be trained on for it to work well. Um, before we might see some uh, chatbots out there, especially enterprise ones that are trained on some good data, but not a great amount of data. If you go to the IoT Coffee Talk show at YouTube this week, we talk a lot about generative AI and... You know, we're in a bit of a hype cycle on it right now. The other part of AI, other than the big cloud stuff, is the tiny edge stuff. So you imagine, like the donut maker, but even smaller, battery-powered wireless edge AI devices that are running sensors to detect breaking glass, gunshots, uh, heat, uh, vibration, current, uh, do all kinds of interesting things, object detection if things are in stock on shelves. So we're going to see a whole slew of that stuff as well. And that's a really a counterbalance to the big cloud AI that's out there. And I would say if you're going to be investing in AI, you really need to understand both ends of the spectrum. Uh, especially as a developer, you can develop lots of good uh, co-pilot-based tools and, and open AI uh, frameworks and rags and things like that, which is great on the cloud side with good labeled trained data. Uh, to train on and then on the edge side, you know, check out some of the cool tiny ML and other uh, kind of edge AI things happening out there uh, with NVIDIA and uh, Olive Semiconductor and ST and Renaissance and all these other folks uh, with silicon that's doing some pretty cool stuff on the battery powered side as well. I think both of those are going to have a big impact. And I think if you're a device developer or a software developer, uh, you should really make sure you have your foot in both camps. All right. Take care.